Welcome, Stephanie. Hello, my name's Stephanie. I'm guardian to my brother, Bill, alongside with his twin sister, Fiona. I'd like to tell you a little bit about Bill's story. Can you tell us about your brother, Bill? So at birth, Billy was um, born not breathing um, and they have brought Billy back and um, alongside that has come cerebral palsy and brain damage. Today, it would be autism, which is a part of his disability. He's got two sisters. One is a twin and there's 13 months between all three. So we're very, very close. Growing up, Billy was always with myself and my sister. He used to go everywhere with us. So he would come to parties with us. He would come out motorbike riding within reason. We always treated Billy like he didn't have a disability. Can you tell us about Bill's experiences in group homes? At the age of 18, um, my parents had got a divorce um, and the big question was what was going to happen with Billy. Myself and my sister, obviously being 18 and 17, we couldn't take Billy on to, to care for Billy full time. Back then, the main thing to do was a, like an institution, like a group home, which Billy went into. At the time, I didn't know there was any other option. This was a really very difficult time for Billy as he lived a life where it was very free, independent, um, was always with his family, to then be put into um, a group home environment where um, it was just a lot different. Not being able to communicate verbally, a lot of it, he would become quite violent and his world was getting quite small in the, the sense of um, not being able to do as much because of the um, behaviours that he was facing. Um, a lot of medication was brought in, um, which was quite sad to see because um, it was somewhat feeling like Bill was sedated a lot of the time when I would have him. Can you share Bill's journey to individualised living? We decided after about six, seven years of Bill being in a group home was to try and get Billy to live independently as much as he can with um, in his own home. So it was a fight that we, to try and get this, but we ended up being able to get Billy to live um, in his own home. He pays for his rent through his pension. And then we were just blessed to be able to find a co-resident named Everett. He's now become family. So co-resident, so that means that Everett lives in the house. Um, he doesn't pay the rent. He lives there, but he gets paid a wage. It's like a 24 hour roster um, and he gets paid minimum hourly rate for that. We then also to give Everett respite, we have staff come in. They are the same staff um, on a weekly basis that come in to support Bill. So he knows who's coming in on what day and that stability is extremely important for Bill as he needs to be able to trust people. How has Bill's individualised living arrangements improved his life? To see my brother now, and he has his own home, and he's so proud of his own home. I've got four children. We go over to Bill's house and have dinner. Bill regularly comes to my house and we have sleepovers. And I absolutely love gardening and so does my brother so it's just the, the simple things like that he's been able to have the freedom of living the best life he possibly could have what advice do you have for anyone in a similar situation to what bill was in with the right people behind you and offering the support i highly recommend that people seek their options and can hopefully live a great life like my brother and the pressure of being a guardian for my brother is 
I can be his sister now.